Well, you guys, it's hubby's birthday. And we're going on a helicopter ride this morning. So, we pray we make it back. <laughs> we'll make it back. But we're doing a helicopter tour over the Grand Canyon. And we're gonna do that glass skywalk. So we're gonna be walking in the middle of the sky on some glass. Hey, slow down. Oh. You know my foot's dealing. <laughs> She's trying to race. Nah, I'm just trying not to miss my shuttle, that's all. But yeah, so that's what we're doing today. I will take you guys along on a scenic ride with us. And uh, got anything to say, boo? I do, mama. I'm so glad. I usually like bark at her about when she take me off the grid. I'm so glad my phone been going off. I just been, I put it on silent. I usually just tell her I put it on silent and it's usually on a uh, vibrate. I don't want to know nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got to give YouTube and other social media platforms a break. Yeah. You know? We just off the grid today, relaxing, having a good time. Oh shit, we in Florida uh, Thursday. <laughs> yep. We be in is it Miami, Orlando? Orlando. Orlando. Yeah. Whew. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. But I'll show you guys some sites. Check in every now and then. And uh, we'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopters. LA right here. Yeah, we better ask somebody just to make sure. So we're waiting for our pickup because we did get picked up for our helicopter ride. We are at the Rio. And I'm not really nervous because I've been on a helicopter before. When we was in Hawaii, that was my first helicopter ride and it was beautiful. How many times you been on a helicopter, boo? I don't know, my mama took me a couple times when I was younger. Oh, you know okay. I mean? Then I went with you. Yeah. I don't know, maybe about like five times. Right? Okay, see, so, be an expert at this. This is my second one, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm excited to see all of the beautiful sights, to see Las Vegas from up in the sky, as well as the Grand Canyon from up in the sky. I don't know how I feel about this little skywalk thing, though. Yeah, that was a little tricky. Yeah, so. I mean, but it's all good. We'll see how that goes. You know, goes. and I'm good with the Lord. You know right, I mean? so, uh, you know. If he calling me home today, then. We going together. <laughs> yeah, I always told you, it's like that anyway. He trying to take me with him, y'all. Yeah, I told her, like, hey, when they come out and say goodbye, I'm going to open it up and just be like, all right, boo. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, I'll check in with y'all later. Just wanted to let y'all know what's happening and how things are going. <laughs> Two more stops before we go to the actual place to get on the helicopter. <laughs>
so you guys we're sitting here in side of the Maverick you know area where you wait for your helicopter ours takes off I guess in about 20 minutes so we're just waiting until it's time to go hubby's looking around as you can see back there and I'm just chilling you see they have all of this seating and stuff in here for you to kind of hang out I guess you could take a water bottle on the helicopter you can't film out on the you know heliport pad but you can film once we get in the helicopter so that's good to know but I'll take you guys along with me as much as possible but I'm pretty excited I like doing this kind of stuff we had a little bit of a wait when we were picking up we went to three different hotels we picked somebody up at um, Planet Hollywood and at Excalibur so we had a little bit of a wait but it's all good we're having a pretty slow relaxed morning we could have had breakfast I'm actually probably going to be hungry by the time we get to the Grand Canyon, so I hope they got snacks. Ain't no problem. <laughs> no problem. So I'm hoping they got some snacks. But, yeah. So. You excited, boo? Yeah. You know what I mean? It, I'm just, I'm off the grid, y'all. Do people know how old you are? Oh. Uh, you want to tell the people how old you are? Yeah, I ain't tripping. 55. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wasn't sure one while if I was gonna get here. But I'm here. Y'all need to know how old I am, okay? <laughs> and if you already know, don't put it in the comments. <laughs> I'm here young. I'll just say it like that. Some 35. <laughs> I wish. Me too. No, I'm rubbing, but. You know what? Okay. In Hawaii, in Hawaii. Too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think we did because the name sounds familiar to me. I believe so. I was. Yes. Yes. Hey, no. okay, remember, 12 minutes after that, you gotta be nice to Bobby, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta get it right up on you. Bye-bye. Yeah, right. Right on your mouth. Right, right on your mouth. Hello? There you go. Okay. <laughs> Can you? Hello? Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Hi, everybody. <laughs>
out of a big parking lot right there. There'd be 10 of them uh, oh, wow. on the so mountain. I would love to do that. Um, I don't think anybody does that anymore. <laughs> that like no power. I think. 32 years ago. We didn't do it in a... Listening to those burners going on? Yeah. 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 After that, it's like, okay. Like, now what? Right. <laughs> 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 All right. Happy birthday. Okay. I can't. I can't. No. I can't nah. switch my numbers around because I'm 55. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Where you want to sit? In the front? Plenty of room, plenty of room. Okay. That's uh, that's tough being on on the on the seas for ten days. We're going nine days. That's, that's no, we probably, did 15 days. Yeah. But oh, I'm you're talking was, about on the sea. Oh, on the okay. sea, like the ten days. Yeah. Didn't like being out there that long. Well, we gamble. <laughs> so it's like they put you, you, stuck with, you stuck with that casino calling your name. We happen to get what's that word? Separate. 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 <laughs> separated. We happen to get separated by any means. Just meet me back here at about about ten thirty-five. Okay. Okay. Or so. All right. Okay. Let's follow this way. All this land up here is owned and operated by the Wallapai tribe. This is all tribal land. Huh? Got a million acres out here. They own about a hundred and eight miles of this side of the green canyon. This thing's been open since 2007. Oh wow. It took them about two and a half years to build it. How many years? About two and a half. Wow. I don't know why I was not expecting it. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, it's yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. The tribe, you ever seen the tribe in the tribe? Oh, yeah, they have Oh, they were here.
got the bag still. But I wanted to get a... Uh, I know. Uh, he is waiting for us. <laughs> you said to be here at 35. Really, we need to, that, that way everybody be there by 11, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little early. This <laughs> so we're back before AJ yells at me. So how did you like it, boo? <laughs> that was cool. Did you like you know it? I mean? uh, better than cool. I don't, I don't have them kind of words, but hey, I loved it. Yeah. I just said it like that. I had a good time. I'm officially not afraid of helicopters at all, so. I think I'm gonna try the butterscotch latte pop. That sounds interesting. They have cinnamon roll. These are espresso drinks, coffee drinks. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get the the tractor driver combo. Huh? So he at least stop at the table. Okay. So they have a bar in here. If you guys haven't been to the Hash House of Go Go, they have a bar in this breakfast joint. And um, it's a cute little, cute little spot. So as you guys can see, I decided to make a quick trip to Target and I completely forgot to um, go through the items that I bought with you guys. It's a whole new day because I'm, you know, including several days in this vlog. But um, one of the items I bought was this hearth and hand baking dish from the Magnolia line. I'm like loving really cute baking dishes right now. And I grabbed some of their um measuring cups and their glass ones and metal ones they're just really really nice and i love cooking with these type of you know items oh i also grabbed some more candles so this is one of the ones that i already had the beach bum bahamas beach bum from yankee candles so i grabbed another one i thought that was really cute and i also picked up some more of the ones that i already had and added a few new ones. As you can see, I got the Lavender Shores, the Pineapple Lemonade, Blushing Amber, which I already know that I really love, but I just stocked up a few more candles. And I got this cute little tray. I don't know how to describe this. It's just a decorative tray and it's gold with rings around it. Fell in love with it, had no idea where I was gonna put it, so I just put it on this little table in my entry area and I absolutely love it. I also picked up some healthcare items, a couple of mouthwashes that I've never tried before. I really like the TheraBreath. I've been using that and I'm actually loving it. It tastes really, really good. <laughs> and I also grabbed this Wild Fable 
it's like a crossbody bag but you can wear it over your shoulder as well and i just thought this color was so cute um we had just missed the sale so i hate that because we probably could have got these item dis items discounted but we had just missed the sale so yeah this is a cute little bathing suit cover-up it's uh like you know see-through with the netting but it's so cute i think it's a skirt that goes with it and a tank top so it's a long kind of like you know ankle length ankle length skirt i believe if not it's at least down to my calves because it's pretty long and it was two pieces so i had to buy each piece separately but i just think it's so cute and i can't wait to take that on a cute little vacation or cruise and throw it over a bathing suit and then i also grabbed this black dress it's just a basic black dress nothing fancy about it as you can see i need to uh steam it or iron it but what I really loved about it was the back. I love things that have cute detailing on the back. And this one, as you can see, has the crisscross and the zigzag and the lace up. It's just so cute to me. And so I did go ahead and pick this up. I'm sorry, my camera can't decide whether it wants to adjust the lighting or <laughs> adjust the, uh, you know, whatever. It's just tripping out right now, so. But I did want to go ahead and show you guys the items that I did pick up from Target because I meant to do a little Target haul and girl completely forgot about it. I also grabbed um, this cute little plant. I needed something to go on this stand right by my back door because um, I had a plant there but I actually put it in my husband's office because I thought it looked really nice in there. So I needed something simple to put on this stand. And I grabbed this when I was in the home decor area in Target. And I just love, love, love it. I think it looks very realistic. It's very simple. It's really neat. And I'm glad I grabbed it. I really, really like it. So it fit perfectly where I needed it to go. So I decided to play around in this Inslee Rain Cold Moon palette that my girl Lily got me today. I just was dying to see what was happening with these cool tone shadows and gorgeous, beautiful shimmers. This is what it looks like. <laughs> these lashes is like, y'all, I have to pick a struggle. Do I want to 
fight with the strip lashes or do I want to fight with the lash extension so I chose strip lashes today because I wanted something a little more aggressive so I grabbed these beauty creations what is it over committed uh silk 3d lashes <laughs> so um I've had them for a while as you can see I got makeup all over the container but they're a little bit more aggressive so I went ahead and put those on with this cold moon eye look I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I feel like it's really giving the whole feel and vibe of this palette. So yeah, I just played around with it for my face. I used a lot of Charlotte Tilbury for my complexion, the foundation, the blush and highlighter, um, powder, you know, face powder, a lot of my Charlotte Tilbury products. I did not use obviously a Charlotte Tilbury palette, but I do want to play around. I kind of want to do a whole face of Charlotte Tilbury to, to um, be honest with you, but her stuff is pricey and it's like the primer is like 50 bucks. So, you know, I need to buy a primer. I need to buy some concealer. I think the concealer is like 30 bucks. So her stuff is like not cheap. So just to get like three more items and it's going to cost me like a hundred dollars. And I'm like, do I feel like doing that when I really don't even need a new primer or a new concealer? But I kind of do want to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. But I used my Charlotte Tilbury like highlighter and blush palette. I've had this for a minute. This is the Beautifying Face Palette, the Pillow Talk. And it is so pretty. And I just kind of had this sit to the side. And I was like, why don't I use this more often? So I went in with the blush and the highlight from this today. And I really, really like it. It takes some building up though on my skin tone for this blush. It's definitely um, really nice for someone who doesn't like crazy pigment right off the bat. You know, if you like to build stuff up. So I definitely had to build it up on my skin tone, but I like it. It's pretty. So anyway, just wanted to pop in right quick and, you know, show you guys this eye look. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, make myself look decent so I can take some pictures for the gram. But yes, yeah, so far, I really like this palette. I wasn't really sure. Honestly, the pigmentation is, so far, the shadows I used, I only used four shadows today. I used this one here in my crease. And honestly, that color alone makes a beautiful eye look. I don't even know if you can really see it because I covered it with shimmer. But that color is like a really gorgeous kind of mauvey, lavendery. It's just beautiful. And then I deepened it up with this cool tone shade here in the outer corner a bit and underneath my eyes. But the shimmers, oh, the shimmers, you guys. It's just like, oh my goodness. They're like, like, it's like, oh my goodness. It's insane. Look at this. Look at these shimmers. I was complaining about the price on this palette because it is very pricey. Okay, very pricey. But it's like, mm, mm. <laughs> it might be kind of worth it, okay? Because, honey, it's chow. They are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And I'm not even listening. I'm not on the tube trying to sell products. A long time ago, I decided, you know what? I don't want to influence people to buy a bunch of makeup because I have way too much makeup. It's not necessary. Child, it's really not. But I do want to just share with you guys the quality of really, really nice, beautiful, gorgeous shadows just in case, you know, you was curious about it, okay? But child, these shadows are beautiful. I am in love. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. <laughs> I am very, very appreciative of this palette, child. Everything that you buy me, of course, but this one, listen. So anyway, yeah, we'll see what else is happening in this vlog. I don't even know, but I just wanted to pop in and show you guys this look. Okay. Nobody knows me like you do. Nobody don't love me quite like you can even be.
Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I'm up in Adam. It is early in the morning, and I came into my beauty room just to kind of look around because I'm going to do a little bit of redecorating, not a lot, because I do like the setup. I'll back up here so you guys can see. You know, I do actually love the setup of my beauty space. I really do. I'm comfortable with it. I'm used to it. It works. So, um, but I am tired of like the decor and stuff that I have in my cubes. I've had this same decor for like forever. You know, little pieces with sayings that kind of, you know, give me that incentive to come in here and create. But... I'm sick of it. I need a change. I need a refresh. I need a refreak. So I basically had a lot of pink and stuff going on and I want to just take all of that out, refreak it. Basically all the stuff that I have in my cubes. Um, I kind of want to change some things, rework some things, change the, the color scheme and, you know, just kind of <sighs> freshen up just to give me a new kind of outlook on my room and inspiring more, me more to come in here and just enjoy my makeup again. So I'm gonna go to Home Goods, look for some something that hopefully I will fall in love with and that I can just kind of base my whole theme around. You know, just one color scheme, one piece, and then, you know, buy other pieces to kind of go with it. Cause right now my room is just crazy. So I plan on doing some declutters as well as um, just kind of picking a new color scheme. So anyways, just wanted to pop in, let you guys know what I'm doing this morning. And I will see you guys probably in the car on the way to Home Goods. But before we go to Home Goods, we are going to make a smoothie because your girl is trying to be as healthy as possible. Okay, so. I got my handy dandy little, um, let me show you guys. But I got my handy dandy little blender right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and grab me some fruit, some juice and some yogurt and make me a smoothie right quick. So I'm starting out with just one of these cans of pineapple juice from Dole. Um, a lot of times I just, you know, buy um, bottle of juice and just pour some in there but these are easy this is um super small but this is easy and i wanted to kind of use more pineapple juice in my smoothies because i like the benefits of pineapple juice i'm just going in with a vanilla yogurt from yokoi and just putting that in there I like the taste of the vanilla. I like all of the flavors, the peach, the strawberry, but the vanilla kind of goes with anything, any type of fruit that you want to use in your smoothie. I'm also going to put some protein powder. So I'm grabbing my Orgain organic protein powder. This is vanilla um, flavored as well. Two scoops is a serving, but sometimes I don't really like the taste because I can taste the protein powder. So I'm just gonna do one scoop today, even though, you know, if you wanna have a whole serving, you would do two. And then I'm just going in with some of this mango berry blend. It's a generic brand, First Street. I think this is from maybe Smart and Final or something, um, but. I'm going to go in with a couple of scoops of frozen fruit. I see a whole bunch of berries in here, and I don't see no mango. I must have used all the mango. So I'm just going to do a couple of scoops, put the top on, and plug it in. and let it go for two smoothie cycles. So I'll just let you see what the front looks like. This is what the front looks like, if you can see that. So I'm just gonna push the smoothie back.
And I'm just using one of my Starbucks cups. <laughs> I like these tall ones because they hold the perfect amount of smoothie for a full smoothie to drink for breakfast. And if I can get my measurements right, which today it looks like I got them pretty perfect, then it's a perfect little smoothie for me to take on the go. So let's go to Home Goods. Okay, you guys, we are in the car. Let me turn this radio off. And as hot as I don't know what, putting this little furry cushion on my seat was like the best choice I ever made in my life because I don't have to have my legs sizzling. Let me show y'all what the temperature is in my car. Hold on. You see that? 111 degrees, okay? 111 degrees. And y'all be happy to know I got gas today. <laughs> girl ain't been going nowhere so I actually got some gas in my car okay so I'm gonna put y'all up here for as long as I can because you know being on the dash in that sun probably ain't too good for my phone but anyway so y'all gonna hear this AC blaring for a minute just for a minute though because this child y'all can imagine how hot it is y'all saw that 111 y'all y'all see it okay but we're gonna head to Home Goods. I had to change my clothes. I changed my tank top and my shorts because, honey, okay, you can see the legs is out. I had to change my shorts and my tanky top because the other tank top and shorts I had on just wasn't fitting me right. It was like the tank top, the straps kept falling, was getting on my nerves. The, um, as y'all can see, this hair is just bigger and bigger. But the shorts was like too big, so they kept riding up. And you know what? I said, you know what? Why am I wearing clothes that's uncomfortable? I have um, way too many clothes to be wearing clothes that's uncomfortable. You know, it's like, I'm just gonna have to let them go, give them to Goodwill, bless somebody else who can fit them better with them and wear something else because I don't wanna be hot and uncomfortable, okay? so. Anyway, the car is pretty much getting nice and cool now. Thank you, Jesus. So, we got to dip out. So, I'll link back up with you guys when we get to Home Goods. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so I just came out of Home Goods and talk about uninspiring. <laughs> there was literally nothing in there that was really inspiring me to um, pick a color scheme or redecorate or anything. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess maybe I'll go to TJ Maxx. I grabbed a couple of things, as you guys may have seen. I grabbed um, the cute little hands that were like this. That was cute. And um, the little sign that said, do more of what makes you happy. She wrapped them all up in paper for me. So I don't want to unwrap them. But And the little chain links, the white chain links I got. But y'all, that didn't help at all. <laughs> So, I think what I'm going to do now, because I really need to get my nails done, they are looking really, really bad, and I need to get them done. I've really been into more of a natural nail color lately. I haven't really been feeling um, bright colors or even French manicure, you know, white tip, none of that. I've been just like super basic lately with my choice of colors for my nails. It's either been natural for my hands or white for my toes and that's pretty much it. So I thought I was gonna walk into Home Goods, fall in love with an item and find 10 other items to coordinate it with and finish my shelves today. But child, I didn't see one thing that spoke to me. <laughs> So, I mean, other things spoke to me, but nothing that had to do with my beauty room. And, hello, I need to stay on task. I need to stay focused. So, we're not about to sit here and start buying decor for other rooms in my house when I know that I need to um, shop for my beauty room. So, anyways, that was a fail. Well, y'all, I had to come home. I couldn't get my nails done because while I was in the car the guy that the guy that cleans our fish tank called or texted me and was like are you home because he missed me last week last week I was at the dentist having some work done on my teeth so I missed him last week and he's like are you home so I can come and clean the tank and I'm like I could be there in 10 minutes so let me just show you guys what I did get from Home Goods, even though, like I said, you guys already are gonna see it in the video, but I grabbed this chain, this little chain link. I thought this was cute, and I'm sure whatever my decor is in my beauty room, I can use that. It was 15 bucks, so not too much, but I thought it was cute. That I probably will end up incorporating in there somehow. This I don't know. I think I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because it's so cute. <laughs> it is, just, it's so cute. It's like the little emoji of the hard hands. And I don't know. Let's see. You guys can see it like sitting here. But yeah, I feel like it's cute. It's cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but I like it. I think it's super cute. So anyway, I picked up that. This was, how much was this? $16.99 and it's heavy. It's like a really heavy metal. So it's not like it's cheap plastic or anything. It's really heavy. And then I got this cute little thing. I like decor that has little, um, inspirational or positive um, aspects to them so this it just says do more of what makes you happy and it says it on both sides and it's just kind of like a little glass you know it's very thick as you can see thick thick glass and it just says it on both sides and so I like having cute little stuff like this around so that's all I bought from home good y'all Okay, guys, so I'm going to start with this shelf because I think this shelf is the one that's bothering me the most. It's just cluttered, a lot of pink, just 
pish posh stuff that's on here that I want to clear off. It also has down here uh, some Too Faced palettes. Some of the flowers that I use when I do like flat lays of makeup and stuff. And there's also like some over um, stock of skincare items down here. So I'm going to find a new place for that. Clear all of this off and clean it. And honestly, I'm feeling like I'm probably going to do better off going to... Ross <laughs> or even Target or something for the type of decor items that I'm looking for because Home Goods didn't just didn't do it. Maybe even TJ Maxx would be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty these shelves off, clean them, rub them down, and I guess this is to be continued. <laughs> You guys so I have cleared off and cleaned most of the shelves that I want to try and refreak um you know I started over here in this corner I haven't moved my skincare stuff yet because I don't know where I'm gonna put that but I did clear off these cubes and I cleared off these cubes and as you can see I just put all my pink stuff over here I'll kind of um Put my palettes away i have my Too Faced palettes and some glam light palettes and then some of my zc palettes so i'll put those away in the cabinets but the rest of the stuff is probably going to be decluttered um so i have a little bit more of a blank canvas at least on this area um to work with I have these boxes from my Forever Mood candles that I was really using as kind of decoration. I think I'm just gonna toss them now since I'm not gonna be using those down here anymore. Um, but yeah, so I think I have a good, <laughs> a good canvas to work with just to find some nicks and doodads to throw on these shelves. I just need a color scheme and that one would be empty too you guys but I have brushes up here I'll probably move those as well but I just I don't want it to look cluttered I want it to to look kind of clean but it's kind of hard when I have so many cubbies to fill but I guess I'll come up come up with a nice kind of decor theme um thinking maybe something kind of earthy and neutral toned dang but you know what i'm just thinking i went with the gray cubes because i always felt like the gray cubes were pretty um neutral and easy to kind of decorate around but what if i switch to like black what if I go with kind of like the Sephora theme? Because I really do like the black and white Sephora stripes. And so what if I go with black and white and get like a nice rug to throw in here that's kind of like black and white just to kind of jazz it up? I don't know, you guys. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking that might be the move just to kind of add something bold in here and then I can kind of pick a pop of color to play with around that. Now, all of this stuff over here, you know, I'm going to have to clean up and reorganize as well. Do some decluttering because I have <laughs> so much makeup. But anyways, we're going to do one thing at a time, y'all. Y'all not about to stress me out in this room, okay? We're going to do one thing at a time. Maybe find a rug, get some black and white items. Y'all already know I bought my little chain. So... <laughs> With this being a white chain, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but anywho. Yeah, what if we go with black and white and maybe like a pop of like teal or turquoise or something. Okay, anyway, you guys, to be continued. <laughs> 